Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night, whatever it might be, and welcome back to another yearly video. Today, I got something new to discuss that I usually don't. Um, Asmongold, the popular streamer known for previously his wild streams, and now there's mostly for his reactions and an MMO like Global Trip, where he tries a bit of every MMO, recently tried to stream Black Desert Online, or BDO, and let me tell you, it was quite the experience. So in this video, we're going to dive into some of the interesting stuff that happened in this video stream that left viewers puzzled, frustrated, divided, to the point of a war. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. First and foremost, if you have any experience playing video, you probably found Asmund's stream of it to be a pain painful to watch. It seemed like he was being obtuse on purpose, ignoring some fundamental aspects of the game, and lack attempt of understanding the basic mechanics made it quite a challenging viewing experience for anyone that has played video before. Don't bind? I don't want to. Or sorry, I I just, I want to bind. Uh, it got, that's, it's easier for me. Like, why would I want to use combos? How do I loot? But before we move on to his time on BDO, it's important to mention that this is not meant to be an attack on anyone at all. And it's mostly a video for me to just get into the flow of making videos, writing scripts and talking to my microphone without being on stream. Because that's what I'm usually used to. That's why the video is like on the short end, and that while I do almost have 1000 hours on BDO as well, it's crucial to understand that hours played on this game does not indicate anything at all. On BDO, you don't get kicked for AFK, because what the game includes is AFK fishing, uh, grinding for horse stamina, player stamina, so it involves a lot of AFKing. So, Hours on this game mean absolutely nothing, it's mostly inflated because people don't turn off the game because they leave their characters doing these activities. So, despite my considerable playtime of almost 1000 hours, it's worth noting that I still consider myself clueless about many aspects of BDO. I openly acknowledge that there's a lot for me to learn and discover in the game, even with my hours invested. Such as only recently did I properly started putting crystals on my gear, even though I had them all stored in my bank and never used them. But now that we have addressed this important perspective on experience and playtime, let's dive into the next segment of Asmund's BDO stream, where Asmund simply decided to ignore all in-game tips, whether it was tooltips, pop-ups, tutorial prompts, he seemed determined to do his own thing, which left a lot of viewers scratching their heads essentially, wondering why isn't he taking advantage of all the info that is being shown on the screen, which caused a lot of issues throughout the stream such as the chat constantly telling him what to do, what skills to use, what mobs to kill, what quests to do, what items to get from the promo codes, that kind of stuff and which probably led him to start ignoring the chat even more to a point of pettiness of not doing what would probably benefit him in the long run. Such as leveling up his skills, he only learned how to level up properly his skills at the end of his stream, which at that point, well, he even no longer was playing it, so it doesn't really matter at that point. So, press K and get the skills at the bottom. I can't. Oh, did I get it? Shift click? Okay. I see. Oh, I do that one a lot. Can I not upgrade it? I have to be level 20. One thing that also seemed to happen a lot with Asmund is throughout his stream, even with his knowledge of MMOs and WoW, he seemed to throw away basic knowledge during this specific stream. Things like reading the tooltips, checking his inventory, reading his quest log, opening his skill list to see if he had new abilities every time he leveled up, and so forth. It was surprising to witness someone of Asmund's caliber struggling with these fundamental concepts when he has had years of experience on WoW. Despite his vast MMO experience, Asmund also seemed reluctant to fully read and understand his character's ability in video. It was as if he didn't realize the potential power he possessed, 
to a point where it seemed he was doing it on purpose to antagonize the backsitters in his chat. Instead of utilizing the full range of abilities available to him, he often sucked to a limited set in neglecting more powerful options. One of the most puzzling aspects of Asmund's video stream was his tendency to overlook the combo tab and repeatedly spam the same abilities. The combo tab, conveniently displayed in front of his character, clearly showcased the potential for combos. However, Asmund seemed either unaware or uninterested in utilizing it. Instead, he mindlessly repeated the same ability back to back, sometimes even relying on no damage abilities. This choice left viewers clawing at their eyes and generated a whirlwind of confusion and amusement in the chat for the trashers. Also, throughout the stream, it became apparent that Asmund had troubles noticing multiple UI elements, such as the Better Gear pop-up on the top right, the video guide showing him his new abilities on the bottom right, and the on-screen numbers indicating cooldowns. This led to missed opportunities and mistimed abilities. The chat exploded with divided opinions as backseaters and trashers clashed in their assessments of his gameplay. Another moment that left Chatters truly confused was during his exploration of Velia, a city in BDO. Asmund unexpectedly decided to ditch his horse, which he had just obtained. Mind you, the horse he had obtained was a tier 9 horse, the Arduinad, which is one of the best horses for traversing the world. It was an unconventional move that drew mixed reactions from the audience. Some found it amusing, while others were left questioning his decision making if even there was a decision and not just Asmund forgetting that BDO's mouths have a sad limited range to where you can call them. Unless you have a pearl shop item. Most likely what happened though was probably Asmund being used to WoW's mount system. Let's sidetrack a moment to discuss something that happened a lot during his stream. Backseating. While I can't deny that I myself did also type some stuff to try to help, I quickly gathered that there was no point to keep going. The chat was too fast. It was filled with trashers always complaining about the game being trash. It was filled with other backseaters trying to help Asmund to the point of probably overwhelming. The impact of backseating on a streamer's experience can be varied. While backseaters can offer valuable advice and guidance, unwanted backseating can sometimes disrupt the streamer's enjoyment of the game. It's important to find a balance where constructive feedback and support can coexist without overwhelming the streamer, which more than definitely didn't happen on that stream. Streamers thrive on interaction with their audience, but it's equally important to respect their gameplay choices and give them space to explore and learn at their own pace. Unwanted backseating can take away from the streamer's own sense of discovery and fun, hindering their overall experience. On the other side though, we had the trashers constantly criticizing BDO and claiming it to be a bad game, even though the showcase experience was more likely than not not a representative experience of the average player that has previously played an MMO. Let that be clear. The clash between these two factions basically, added an extra layer of intensity to the stream which probably added a sour taste to the whole viewing experience. And Asmund himself. I just hope next time Asmund streams BDO or just plays it off stream, he reads up some guides to make his BDO experience better and not just throw anything at a wall hoping it would stick. Even if it's just a guide to make the combos feel easy to do because since he has a preference for keybinded spells, the combos will feel sluggish because the game itself punishes spells over the native usage of them on combos. Experience. And there you have it, Asmund's adventure in BDO certainly stirred up a mix of emotions among viewers. Whether it was moments of confusion, the clashes between the backseaters and the trashers, or the humorous and unconventional choices, it's clear that the stream left an impression on the BDO community and others alike. But as we wrap up, it's important to remember that even experienced players like Asmund, or even me, can face challenges and overlook certain aspects of a new game. It serves as a reminder that no matter how many hours you put into a game, there's always more to learn and discover, especially if one has multiple people yelling at your every decision and mistake. That about it wraps up for Asmund's return stream to BDO. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on his first video stream. Do you think he was somewhat pretending to be oblivious to the game or, or not? Let me know. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and all of that for me to probably not upload for another year till I get another burst of motivation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye!